Welcome friends to my channel Stat in Fee where I have started a lecture series on sample survey. This is the sixth part of the series and in this part we shall talk about the difference between simple random sampling without replacement and simple random sampling with replacement. Okay, so in the previous part we have discussed about simple random sampling. Okay, and in this part we shall talk about what is the difference between simple random sampling with replacement and without replacement. So let's uh, understand this with the help of an example so I have taken the same example of the previous uh, video okay so suppose for example we have a population of size 10 okay and we want to draw a sample of size 3 okay so in that case how many sample combinations are there there are 10 c3 sample combination okay but when okay now understand this so we are considering the simple random sampling without replacement. So what is happened in simple random sampling without replacement? Okay. Now suppose for example, this is a population of size 10. Okay. And uh, we select a unit randomly from the population to the sample. So suppose for example, at the first row, uh, one is... Uh, got selected at the first row okay so after selecting that unit at the first row this unit is not considered in the population at the second row do you understand after this one this one is got selected randomly from the population to the sample at the first row okay and after selecting that unit at the first row from the population to the sample that unit is not going to be concerned in the population at the second row for this what is happen for this what will happen at the first row the size of the population is 10 okay but since we are not considering that unit that selected unit at the second row in our population that's why the size of the population is what at the second row since this one is not going to consider at the second row that's why the size of the population will be is equal to 9 at the second row okay and again remaining nine observation has equal probability of being selected at the sample okay that means from draw to draw the number of units is going to reduce from the population okay do you understand from draw to draw the number of units is going to reduce from the population okay again suppose two is selected at the second row Okay, so after selection of 2 at the second row, 2 is not going to be considered at the population at the third row. Okay, since 2 is already selected at the second row in the sample, so 2 is not going to consider in the population at the third row. Okay, as a result, how many units are there? As a result, there are only eight units in the population okay and each of the eight units has the same probability that is one by eight probability to being selected at the uh, in the sample okay each of the uh, eight observation has equal probability of being selected at the sample okay so again there are five is selected okay since we have to select a sample of size three so our uh, goal is complete so will stop here okay but in case of simple random sampling with replacement what will happen okay so again we are considering the same example okay where uh, here also we have this uh, population of size 10 1 to 3 like this and we want to select this uh, sample of size 3 okay now it may happen that suppose for example here also one is selected at the first row okay one is got selected randomly at the first row from the population to the sample so after selecting one at the first row we are not going to eliminate one from the population for the second row okay here we'll do what so 
here after selection of one at the first row we are not going to eliminate one from the population for the second row that means what after selection of one we are going to replace this one to the population again for the second row okay that means one is already selected okay and one is already selected as the first row but we are not going to eliminate it from the population for the second row we will just replace it before the second row so that so that what will happen at the first row the size of the population is 10 okay and since we are going to replace the item after selection of that item at the previous row again to the population the size of the population will remain same okay the size of the population at the first row is equal to the size of the population at the second row again it is equal to the size of the population at the third row that means the size of the population is not going to change in case of simple random sampling the size of the population is going to change from row to row but in case of simple random sampling with replacement the size of the sample is not going to change from row to row the size of the population remains same from row to row but in case of simple random sampling the size of the population is going to change from row to row okay but so here it may happen that there may be some sample combination where the same item is repeated okay that means it may happen that one is selected at the first row and since we replace one uh, in the population before the second row and then we draw the item from the population so it may happen that in the uh, second row also one is uh, selected okay okay and and uh, again after selection of one at the second row again you replace it to the population okay and uh, again it may happen that one is also selected at the third row isn't it it may it may also happen okay so in case of simple random sampling with replacement it may happen that there are some sample combination there are some sample combination where the information is repeated from row to row okay there are some sample combination where informations are repeated from row to row but in case of simple random sampling without replacing there is no chance of that because from each of the row we get new information okay from row to row we get the new information because whatever unit we uh, get at the first row it is not going to be the same uh, whatever you need to get in the uh, second row again it is not going to be same at the third row okay that means the information is not going to repeat it in case of simple random sampling without replacement okay for each of the uh, draws we will get uh, new new information okay new information but in case of simple random sampling with replacement it may happen that there are some simple combination where we may get uh, the same information for all the draws okay so in case of simple random sampling without replacement the number of possible combination is equal to ncm okay and each of the possible combination has equal probability of being selected okay that is equal to 1 by ncm and in case of simple random sampling with replacement the number of possible combination is equal to n to the power uh, small n capital n to the power small n okay and each of the possible sample combination has equal probability of being selected and this probability is equal to this one okay 1 by um, capital n to the power n okay and um, from here you can get the idea that the number of uh, possible sample combination is going to be very large in case of simple random sampling with replacement in comparison to simple random sampling without replacement okay because here we are considering that uh, sample combination also where the items are repeated okay but in case of simple random sampling without replacement we are not going to consider consider that uh, sample combination where the uh, item is repeated okay that's why the number of sample combination uh, in case of simple random sampling without replacement is less in compared to uh, 
simple random sampling with replacement okay so in case of simple random sampling without replacement we are getting new information from each of the draw but in case of uh, uh, simple random sampling with replacement it may happen that in some of the sample combination we may get the same information again and again okay and it may happen that uh, we in, in some of the sample combination we may not get the new information for each of the draws okay so this is the, this is the difference between simple random sampling with replacement and without replacement okay and um, whenever you calculate the uh, variance of these two uh, methods that means uh, uh, variance of simple random sampling with replacement and variance of simple random sampling without replacement so you may find that the variance of uh, simple random sampling uh, with replacement is uh, greater than simple random sampling without replacement okay so that means the precision of this uh, uh, this method uh, precision of this method is uh, um, greater in comparison to uh, this method okay precision of simple random sampling without replacement is greater than the precision of simple random sampling with replacement because the uh, variance of the simple random sampling without replacement is less than the variance of the simple random sampling with replacement so this is the difference between uh, these two methods uh, so i hope you understand uh, what are the main difference between simple random sampling with replacement and without replacement okay so if you understand then please like share and subscribe my channel and uh, thank you thank you so much for watching my video thank you